Some people feel more complete when they are alone than others who spend their entire day surrounded by many people. Marco Aurelius, a historical philosopher, believed that everything we need to be happy is within us. However, many people, especially the younger generation, seem to fear loneliness. Our society values being with others, and being alone is often seen as something negative. Those who enjoy being alone are sometimes viewed as having some kind of issue. But what if we've been understanding it all wrong? What if, instead of emptiness, solitude is a space for growth and self-discovery? What if I told you that we don't need anyone else but ourselves to feel complete? I'm not suggesting we isolate ourselves from the world and live alone forever because we are naturally social beings and we need others. However, the idea is that we shouldn't depend on anyone else to feel good. When we take care of our inner world, we get to know ourselves better, and this improves our relationships with others. Sometimes, our surroundings and the people around us can hinder our personal growth, so it's important to prioritize ourselves and believe in ourselves. As Marcus Aurelius also wrote, wherever you go, there you are. After all, you are the person you'll spend the rest of your life with. We must ensure that this relationship is a good one, not a destructive one. This means that we shouldn't let external things affect our inner peace. Historical philosophers considered solitude as something natural and necessary in life, something we need to face from time to time. Marcus Aurelius once said that it's possible to feel at peace alone in a room, yet feel lonely amid a crowd. Romantic relationships, for instance, are often not built on love but on filling the void that one feels. However, it's crucial to address this void before seeking companionship. This is why some people constantly jump from one relationship to another, out of fear of being alone. Loneliness is inevitable and necessary to some extent in everyone's life, and it's up to each of us to face it with courage and virtue. When we are alone, we can learn a lot if we pay attention. The teachings of ancient philosophers have been passed down for generations and are still relevant today because they address universal concerns, including loneliness. Before discussing historical philosophers' advice on dealing with loneliness, I want to ask you a question that you can answer at the end of this video. Do you truly feel happy when you are alone in moments of silence and darkness? I invite you to reflect on this question and answer honestly. I'll be watching the comments. The Stoics advise that solitude should be a choice. In today's world, we are bombarded with noise and distractions, and we often feel compelled to fill every moment with activities and interactions. However, true effectiveness comes from the ability to focus our attention on one thing at a time, not from piling up tasks. That's why the Stoics emphasize the importance of silence, intentional retreat, and pause. Choosing to be alone does not mean rejecting others. It's a way of taking care of yourself, cutting through the noise, and focusing on what truly matters. In solitude, we can learn to distinguish what is genuinely important to us instead of being swept away by the constant demands of the external world. Think about those moments when you need to concentrate, whether it's writing, reading, or reflecting. Being alone without distractions allows you to fully immerse yourself in the task at hand. Even on busy days, it's crucial to find some time for yourself, a space of complete solitude. Marcus Aurelius once said that it's possible to be alone in a room and feel at peace, but it's also possible to be in the midst of a crowd and feel lonely. This is particularly true when it comes to romantic relationships. Often, people are not together out of love, but because they feel a void that they think the other person can fill. However, it's important to address that void and be comfortable with being alone before entering into a relationship. Otherwise, we see people who are always in a relationship, jumping from one to another because they are afraid of loneliness. 
I wanted to talk about loneliness because it's necessary and inevitable in everyone's life. But it's up to each of us to face it with courage and virtue. In moments of solitude, we can learn a lot if we pay attention. The teachings of historical philosophers from antiquity have been passed down from generation to generation, and they are still relevant today because they address universal concerns, including loneliness. Before I share the advice of historical philosophers on how to deal with loneliness, I want to ask you a question that you can answer at the end of this video. When you are alone in moments of silence and darkness, do you truly feel happy? I invite you to reflect on this question and answer honestly. I'll be watching the comments. The Stoics' first advice is that solitude should be a choice. In today's world, we are bombarded with noise and distractions, and we often feel pressured to fill every moment with activities and interactions. However, true effectiveness comes from the ability to focus our attention on one thing at a time, rather than piling up tasks. That's why the Stoics emphasized the importance of pause, silence, and intentional retreat. Choosing to be alone doesn't mean rejecting others. It's a way of taking care of yourself, cutting through the noise, and focusing on what truly matters. In solitude, we can learn to distinguish what is genuinely important to us instead of getting swept away by the constant demands of the external world. Think about those moments when you need to concentrate, whether it's writing, reading, or reflecting. Being alone without distractions allows you to fully immerse yourself in the task at hand. Even on busy days, it's crucial to find some time just for yourself, a space of complete solitude. The second piece of advice from the Stoics is to embark on the path of self-knowledge. It's curious how often we know more about others than we do about ourselves. People can see abilities and characteristics in us that we don't recognize in ourselves. Introspection is a powerful tool for personal growth, and the Stoics considered it fundamental to a virtuous life. Without a deep knowledge of ourselves, we navigate the world blindly, influenced by every impulse and change in the wind. In solitude, Away from distractions and external opinions, we find the necessary space to question, reflect, and discover. It's in these moments of tranquility that the deepest truths about ourselves can emerge. These truths, even if uncomfortable at times, are essential for our growth and evolution. Understanding oneself is both a blessing and a challenge. It requires great courage to confront our innermost thoughts, fears, and desires. However, this deep exploration releases us from hidden limitations and enables us to live an authentic life. The Stoics strongly believe that the path to wisdom and virtue pass through profound self-awareness. Therefore, solitude should not be considered a state of loneliness or an issue to be avoided, but rather an opportunity for introspection. During moments of solitude, we can ask ourselves the most profound questions about our existence, beliefs, desires, and fears. It is in these quiet moments that we can truly listen to our inner voice without the influence and judgment of others. Solitude provides us with the space to be our true selves. As Plato once said, the greatest victory is conquering oneself. Solitude can be a key to personal growth and happiness. If this message resonates with you, we invite you to subscribe to our channel and share this video with your loved ones.